You know how some people always have like a million half drink water bottles? I'm like that with sunscreen. This is my mom's newest find. It's giving summer. It was like 500 something dollars and we're like, we're gonna go. <laughs> So it was one of those days where I felt like doing my makeup for no reason. And I did like this really pretty mint eyeshadow look. I've done this exact look before because <laughs> I have this ColourPop palette and I just wanted to do it again. So I got a huge Boohoo package. So I thought I would do a try on haul for you guys. Really cute stuff. You guys know I order from Boohoo all the time. So when they wanted to collab on this video, I said, yes, of course. So huge shout out to Boohoo for sponsoring. They're one of like my go-to spots because it's really affordable. They have a great size range, really cute, like trendy items and so much cute stuff for summer. So we're gonna do a nice fun try on haul. And of course I will link everything that I got down below in the description box. Okay, so I like, I have it all spread out behind you guys on the couch and I'm like, what do I wanna start with? I've got dresses, oh, I've got tops, I've got some bathing suits. I don't know, it's summer. Let's do the bathing suits first. Okay, so I have been really into like bando one pieces. So I love the color of this. So this is like a textured one piece with this really pretty purple. Typically I will size up on one pieces. So I got this in a size 20, but it's actually quite large. So you could order like true to size on this one, but just like a really cute color, really pretty. You don't have to worry about tan lines. Um, even though it's like a little bit big, I'm fine with that. But I just wanted to let you guys know when you're ordering, but so cute, just such an easy piece. And honestly, I would like double this as a top. I always love a bathing suit that I can kind of like make into a top especially if you're like going out to the beach like i got these really cute cute <laughs> cute flippy shorts with this like really pretty embroidery over the top you guys know i love shorts like this so these are super cute just kind of a flippy oversized high-waisted short. These are just so easy to wear in the summer. Um, these are a little bit big, but I overall really just love shorts like this for the summer. They're just like so effortless. And this outfit is honestly super cute. So if you're like going to the beach, going to the pool, you know, you can wear this bathing suit and just throw some shorts or like a skirt on with it. And it looks, you know, like a normal outfit. <laughs> okay. I also got another bando swimsuit. This one's a little too cheeky and high cut for YouTube, but another really cute bandeau swimwear um, that you can double as a top, which we love. So I put it on with the shorts so you guys can see it like this again. This is another one because like I always, I always size up in a one piece. Another one that's just, it's got a lot of room. So you can order true to size or even a size down on these suits. Um, but doesn't it look like so cute as an outfit? I also have a skirt that I think this would look cute with. Let's try it. Cause like this maxi skirt is such a vibe. I don't know if I would actually wear this together, but anyway, this, look how cute this maxi skirt is here. It's like super long, very whimsical with the tears down it. And I love, love this color blue. I don't know, in some weird way, I feel like this is giving like 2000s vibes. Like you'd see this on like a Cinderella story. <laughs> So maybe not together, but I do love these pieces separately. The skirt does fit true to size. So actually, you know what? It's kind of funny because I feel like my next bathing suit would look perfect with this skirt. Okay, I mismatched, misplanned. Okay, this suit goes so well with the makeup. I love this bathing suit. Like how cute is this? This like rainbow pastel moment. This one I feel like fits just absolutely perfectly with the one size up. So it has this fun belt you can add, you can kind of play with, you could wrap it around. It also looks really cute without the belt. Like if you wanna jazz it up, you can add the belt, but I also like just kind of love it on its own. And I like the low scoop in the back. I will definitely be wearing this bathing suit a lot this summer. Okay, so those are the bathing suits I got. Look at how cute this gingham top is. I love this. I love the orange. I love the baby doll fit. It's just, it's giving summer. I think it's so pretty. And I know it's summer, but like, I don't know. I love trying new jeans. So I got these really cute distressed raw hem flare jeans as well. These have amazing stretch. Like so much stretch okay we need to talk about the absolute snatch 
that this peplum top is giving. This is so cute. So it's got like this really fun rounded off square neckline. It has really nice cinching here with a little flare out giving me a waist I don't have. So we love that. And then it's also got ruffle detailing, a little tie in the front here. But the ruffle detailing that goes around the back, oh, this is so cute. Such a great like date night top. Okay, I'll be the first to say I don't usually love a bodysuit, but I like boohoo's because they actually are long enough. <laughs> So look at this bodysuit, this like neon yellowy green. I love all of this gorgeous texture over the top, this lace overlay with the high neck. It has enough like layering here where, you know, if you don't want to wear a bra, you don't have to. Really cute halter style. And again, just like plenty of room. Like I don't feel constricted. <laughs> so this is so cute. It's actually like out of my comfort zone but when you put it on i just love it like it's giving it's giving summer this dress i didn't even plan it some of the eyeshadow looks go perfect with these pieces i have had this in my cart for about a month now i just always wanted to grab it i want one of you guys to wear this to like a summer wedding for me um it's a little trendy but like i think it's also kind of cool why is this giving why do i love this so much i just think it is so like sleek and cool i love the colors i love the kind of pattern and like the slinky vibe so it's like got a little bit of looseness to it it's like it's fitted but not super fitted and i just ooh, i love it and it's got kind of a cowl neck vibe and i really love tops and dresses where the like the spaghetti straps come out really far it just it gives a different kind of more elevated look for some reason but oh Love this dress. Okay, and this one has the same vibe. I also had this one in my cart. So we've got the same kind of cowl neck slinky moment here. The strap's going out far. This one is ribbed. It's like, I don't know how to describe this fabric. It's almost like pleats. We've got all this cowl neck magic. <coughs> it just choked my spit. So it's interesting because of that pleated fabric, it like goes in to be a little bit fitted, but like you've got a lot of, you know, comfortability and room to work with. This one's a little bit shorter than the last. I am five seven and a half for reference. Most of my clothes are in a size 18. So yeah, here's the dress. I love it. I love the colors. I love the pattern. I feel like this would also be so cute to a summer wedding. Okay, so here's the thing about a wrap dress. It's gonna take you forever to put on. You're gonna need help, but once it's on, looks so good listen i'm just here to give you some summer wedding options okay because look at how cute and on a budget how cute is this wrap dress i love all the ruffle details i love the high low and it's just so pretty with this color palette so beautiful i i love it i just i love the way it looks i love this ruffle isn't it just so cute i don't know it makes me want to go on like a picnic summer date or something okay got a couple pairs of pants and that's it so these palazzos i love a wide leg summer palazzo pant these are a really nice thin fabric so you're not going to get hot with the summer so smocking in the back for comfortability we've got pockets and this really cute brown kind of zebra fabric you can dress these up you can dress these down I just love a pant like this. It's no secret. And I just, I like when pants like this have smocking in the back because I don't want to sit down and not be able to breathe. And lastly, I wanted to grab something from their Barbie collection. These are one of the comfiest pairs of sweatpants I have ever worn. You gotta grab these. They are so soft and comfy. And like joggers are tough for me because sometimes I feel like they're a little too tight in my thigh because I've got big thighs. But like then if I get them a size up, I get baggy crotch. So I really like the way that these fit. And they've got the cute Barbie logo. Definitely one of my new fave lounge bottoms. So that is everything I grabbed from Boohoo. Definitely check out Boohoo. Check out all these items linked down below in the description box. And thank you to them so much for sponsoring. I love Boohoo. This was so exciting. And let me know which piece was your favorite from today's haul. Tomorrow. All right, y'all. Just finished. Friday's workout. I was actually able to do it at home. On Fridays, it's pretty much, well, it is just all elliptical and then like weights with dumbbells and a bench. 
which I'm very grateful we have at home. So sometimes I don't go to the gym on Friday. I just work out at home, but I'm gonna crack open a protein shake. My arms are like jello, guys, literally. This is my first full week back working out since filming and, oh, <laughs> I've mentioned it before, but it's so unfortunate how you build up and then you take a little time off and it's like starting from scratch. My booty from Wednesday's workout still hurts two days later. <laughs> I'm doing these new kickback things with weight where you're like pushing back and oh my God, it's, uh, it's brutal, but here for the booty gains. Today was total body, which is nice. A little bit of everything, so we'll just be sore all over. <laughs> but it is good to be back. So I've been back on the Alani kick, but I also got some more Celsius. I wanna like rotate, cause I just love the kiwi guava flavor of Celsius. But like, I haven't had one of these in a while cause I've been drinking Alani. And I you know, I did the whole little switcheroo to see if it would help my acne cause Celsius has like a large amount of biotin and Alani has like way less. So I was like, I'm gonna switch to Alani, see if it helps my acne and like, I did that for a couple months and it didn't really change anything at all. So um, now I know I can kind of mix and match and have Celsius sometimes, but I only had half of one today cause I was like, I was kind of nervous. <laughs> I know this is kind of funny cause like, I don't know if there's different stuff in it than Alani, but on my TikTok page last night, two videos on my For You page had specifically people like having panic attacks after drinking Celsius. <laughs> And I was like, what the heck? Like, I've never seen that on my timeline. And then I was like, I just had got a package of these from Amazon. And I was like, all nervous. So I only drank half. Um, so yeah, got a little nervous. I don't know how different Alani and Celsius are, but uh, the half actually really did boost me <laughs> quite a bit to get through my workout. Uh, but anyway, enough rambling. Good morning intro of the vlog i'm really excited because i'm having my first pool day today with my mom it's gonna be like 85 pure sun perfect perfect pool day it is the friday of fourth of july weekend so i'm a little nervous it's gonna be kind of busy but we'll see we just really are eager to go and have our first swim of the summer because it's a uh, you know, it's getting getting in summer and I have got no tan and I'm trying to get a little bit of a tan going. So it's 10 o'clock now. I am gonna go clean off this sweat and I gotta go through my bathing suits, see which bathing suit I'm gonna wear today, pack a little pool bag and I will take you guys along for the journey. But we love, we go to this like country club that has a pool and like they have like waitresses or waiters and you can like order food and drinks. It's just, it's a vibe. We just like pay for a day pass when we go. I've actually thought about like joining the country club. <laughs> I need to like, I need to do the math and see would it be worth it for the whole summer versus how much it is to go every time. So I don't know, I love it. I get asked a lot, do we miss having a pool? Yes but one day down the road, we'll definitely get a pool at the house again. But for now, this works. Okay, you know when it's like the first beach or pool day of the year and you're like, what, <laughs> what do I bring? Cause like you get in such a routine, but I, it's my first time this summer. So I don't, I don't know what to bring. So these are my old beach bags from last year. And then my mom is so sweet. My mom bought me this one as a surprise because I had mentioned to her when we were at Target that I loved it. So I'm going to use this as my beach bag this summer. So nice of her. I love this bag. It's like, it's really cool because it's like rubber. So it's the perfect kind of fabric for beach and pool, sand. You know, it's got like, I don't know. It's just, it's just perfect for this. I love it. I love the texture of it. And you can either wear the straps short, like a double handle or long, which I'm definitely gonna do the long. It is big arm friendly. This is last year's beach bag. We've got a whole bag. Oh, I brought that to Florida. That's what I'm thinking of. Brought that to Florida. Um, I've got a bag here of sunscreen from my Florida trip. I love this, this hat for blocking the sun, but then you still get, like your head gets to breathe so you don't get too hot and it rolls up. It's very travel friendly. I brought this to Florida because um, it rolls up and you can just like tie it in place. So very travel friendly. Oh my gosh, I have so much sunscreen. <laughs> These are our water shoes my mom and I bought. I've got 
Oh, my little Say bucket hat. I love a good bucket hat. Um, I've got this fun little visor too. And then just like a bunch of sunscreen. I've got super goop. I've got all, all kinds of levels of sunscreen here. So I'm not really gonna bring that much. I'm gonna take this little pouch that Glow Recipe um, had sent PR in and I'm gonna use this for sunscreen to keep it like kind of separate from the bag. We've got an oil option, a lotion option. I had bought this in Florida when I got my burn. I'll save this. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need this. The Panama Jack After Sun Lotion with aloe. It was quite nice. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we won't need that. Um, and then we've got um, a hydration, water resistant sunscreen. So I've got, um, my mom likes to use lighter numbers. I use a little bit of a higher SPF. But regardless, please use SPF. So we've got a bunch of options in here. They are like the perfect size. So voila. I'm gonna fill up um, my hydro flask to throw in here as well, because we are gonna order like lunch, food and drink at the pool. But I do like to bring a big thing of water. Oh my gosh, we just have so many, so many sunscreens. <laughs> you know how some people always have like a million half drink water bottles? I'm like that with sunscreen. I am just gonna bring one of my hats. I'm gonna bring this one here. I feel like it would look cute with the outfit. I also really need to buy um, an SPF lip balm. I buy one of those every summer too. I just haven't bought one yet this year. Um, that's always a staple. I hate getting dry lips at the pool or the beach and like they need SPF too, but <laughs> we're just gonna throw on some summer Fridays and my mom pretty much always has SPF chapstick with her, like always. Yeah, we're gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm gonna bring a hair clip. I think that's really it. We're only going for a few hours because we're also going out to dinner with our friends tonight. So a couple hours, get a little base tan. Hopefully we don't burn, but I'm gonna wear my SPF. I'm wear a whole lot of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone is ready to go see grandma, huh? You wanna see grandma? Bruno's gonna hang out with Cha Cha while we go to the pool. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun. Are you ready? Ready? Yes! Besties! Yay! Yeah. You are Yay, Grandma! Who's my handsome boy? Who's my handsome boy? This is my mom's newest find from I TJ Maxx. Now, I don't know if anyone out there is old enough to remember Dickies. So they were called Dickies and they were just like this, but they were typically a little turtleneck. So it was a turtleneck and then it was just cut like this. So you just wore it under a blouse or whatever. Okay. But look at this giant white collar. It's so fun. <laughs> I have so many. Okay, come look at the black dress I'm going to wear it under. Okay. See, my closet is all black. Look at this. So I'm going to wear this black dress with my white collar under it. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I'm going to look like a pilgrim. <laughs> You're going to have to send us a picture for the vlog so they can see it. Oh my God, it's going to be so cute. Oh, I look love that. Look at how cute that. that's going to be. TJ Maxx, $8. Amazing. They have the best clearance. It looks so good. I love it. Changes the look of everything. It does. You can add it to a lot. Thank you. Also, mom darkened her hair and it looks oh, so I good. I don't know if they can tell. Yeah, definitely. And not just my skin tone. And it then I good. had a little package of the bleach and I put a little streak. It's in so it. cute. Anyway. It looks really good. Are you guys going to be good while we're gone? <laughs> Are all... you going to do any? I can't wait to see that cushion. Go show them love the cushion. Oh, Cha Cha, you want to show them your art piece? <laughs> you want to show them your art piece? So Cha Cha. Oh, this is what Cha Cha did last night or this morning. Yeah. Oh, but you know what the funny thing is, guys? It it wasn't like that foam and and, oh, yeah. and stuffing everywhere on the floor. It looked like a little snowstorm in here. <laughs> in her defense, oh. I will say this used to sit out on my balcony where I used to live, and the fabric was a little rotten and brittle. So, yeah, it was uh, yeah. it was already falling. It apart. was on its way out, so I wasn't too upset. But uh, yep. Yeah, have fun today, Shout out to Cha Cha. <laughs> Many hours later. Fun little update. The pool was full and we had a gut feeling it was gonna be, or I, I did because I was worried about the holiday weekend and we were getting there at like one o'clock or 12.30. So the pool was full, so we left and now we're having lunch. And that's okay. We should get seafood. You want seafood? We got calamari. True. Does not look so good, guys. We love calamari. 
I'm sorry, but how cute is this little pose? Are you posing? Do you have a fun day today? You have a good day? Yes. You have a good day, huh? Many hours later. All right, y'all, checking in. It has been many hours since my last clip. So, as I said, we were at a very crowded, busy restaurant. So, my mom and I, we went to the pool and she was like, I am so sorry, but like we are at capacity unless you have a membership. And my mom's first immediate reaction was, how much is the membership? <laughs> and it's like 500 and something dollars. And we're like, we're gonna go, <laughs> we'll go ahead out. That's okay, we, we kind of knew. I thought about it, I was like, it's 4th of July weekend. I have a feeling people are taking this day off because it's Friday, so they got like a long full weekend. And she did tell us, she was like, yeah, I think it's extra busy today just because of the holiday weekend, so. Anyway, it worked out though, because we were gonna have lunch there, like we said, so we just got lunch on the water and it was really nice, really peaceful. Um, new spot for my mom, it was where we went with our friends the other day, so um, I wanted to take her there, so it worked out. And I got home, there's been so much traffic because of the holiday weekend. My mom said she saw on the news that like this was the worst time to be traveling, just because people are going away for the weekend, so. We hit a lot of traffic going home and I got home, I had like 45 minutes to shower, throw on some light makeup and change and now we're heading out to meet our friends. So I'm a little pooped, I won't lie, I'm a little tired, but if we had gone to the pool, I'd be so much more tired. So it kind of worked out because I was also a little nervous about being like exhausted from swimming in the sun because that just like zaps my energy. So the fact that I'm this tired just from like getting lunch with my mom I think it's because we drove a lot because like we drove kind of far to get to the pool we go to and then we drove kind of far to go to lunch and then we drove kind of far in traffic so driving can kind of tucker you out a little bit but anyway this is long-winded we're gonna go hang out with our friends and I will check back in with you guys at some other point tomorrow good morning you guys welcome back no nope, not welcome back this is the same vlog I'm half asleep don't mind me, I've had a few sips of my coffee and I'm slowly coming to life. Yeah. He always gets the itch when I'm filming, I swear it's only when I film. Um, but I still have a really decent amount of editing left to do for the project, so I think I'm gonna dedicate some time today. Um, we're just gonna get like some house stuff done. It sucks because it's like a beautiful day. It's like 85 and sunny. So like you get that FOMO, especially when you're in New England and like you only get, you know, a few months every year of like nice weather. <laughs> Ooh, I, I think I saw someone on TikTok actually find the first pumpkin item at Target the other day. And I won't lie, I kind like I kind of love summer because I just know that like fall and vlogmas are on their way like look at i'm so excited i'm just i'm so excited but i'm gonna enjoy summer because i really i really do enjoy a good a good swimmeroo uh so anyway i think we're just gonna chill around the house today let me show you the casual fit the nice little stretchy kind of gym shorts with the double layer these were in the i don't know video or two back and then that crisscross applesauce back top and it's just like i don't know it's just really stretchy and comfy i also had my hair curled last night and it held super well but it's too hot to even wear it down too hot for even mascara i don't have the capacity to wear any form of makeup today we are having a cookout with my family um in a few days they're coming over so i think i think it's gonna i think it's gonna rain <laughs> let me double check yeah <laughs> Today's the only good day of the four day weekend. So it's kind of like, kind of sad. I feel like I need to check in and be like, are y'all still coming? I mean, it's not like we can't hang out in here. And it's ultimately just an excuse to like, hang out with the fam, you know, just to see them and have them all over. Cause we don't see the whole family like that often. So we'll see. Anyway, just wanted to check in and say good morning and let you guys know the tea. But most of the day today is gonna to be relatively chill, so I'll check back in when I've got something fun to share. All right, y'all, we just got our Tesla charger installed. Really nice guy came and set it up, and he did a really good job because he like put a little cover over it, drilled in, and he was like in the basement, but 
yeah, we don't have to go to the supercharger anymore, which has actually been very like enjoyable. We would go and just like charge it together and watch Netflix together. Sorry, I've been editing for the last few hours. I'm like, I don't even know what I look like right now. We've been going to the supercharger every few days because we've been driving like a lot. Um, and it was really fun. It was, there's always people at the supercharger too. There's always like multiple Teslas there. Um, honestly, one thing I'll say is a lot of people in real life and online have said to me, I thought Teslas were silly. Like, I just feel like they're overhyped. And then I drove one and I got the hype. Like so many people have said that to us. And we have friends who are like anti-Tesla and they got to drive it last night and check it out. And they're like, I'm converted. It's, it's weird because I felt the same way. And then we rented it in Miami and I was like, this kind of fire. <laughs> it, it really is an interesting experience, but um, don't knock it till you try it. Cause I know a lot of people give me shade about the Tesla, but it is really, a really, really cool car. And it's so exciting that we have the charger here now. Although, like I said, we had a lot of fun going to the supercharger. We would watch Netflix, we'd watch Bling Empire and just sit and I don't know, it's kind of just like a fun little outing. So in a way I'm gonna miss it, but it's gonna be much more convenient having the charger here. And I'm pretty sure this charger, this charges last longer doing it from home. It's like better for the car or something than the superchargers cause it's like faster. I don't know, something like that. You can Google it. Many hours later. Okay, so many hours later, I just threw on really, really fast makeup, concealed my pimples, <laughs> cream blush, um, and some lip product. I feel like a brush hair. Um, so we actually are gonna go to this like food truck thing with fireworks with our friends. So we're gonna go. And I think it's gonna be really fun because we were in the house most of today and it'll be fun to like just get out, do something different. I bet it's gonna be so busy though because the holiday. So here are the bag staples for the night. It's not much. These are all the things I'm gonna be using tonight. Just my phone, a hair clip in case I get hot. We got the Mega Babe. I rotate between this and the Monistat. Kind of new onto this, it's very good. Keys and wallet, and just trusty old clear lip gloss. Cause you know what, a couple hours, I don't need to bring a whole lot. So the fit is just some white linen shorts. One of my favorite classy network tops with the high neck built-in cups. Let's go. We are back home many hours later. So here's how the night went. <laughs> oh my God, most of my makeup has come off. So we drove to the spot that had like this food truck situation and fireworks and it was at like a state park. Oh my God, crazy. Just totally nuts. Like you could not park within like a mile of it. <laughs> it was like blocked off. People were walking from one, two miles away. We did like loops, it was cuckoo, so we didn't go. And then we ended up going to our friends, which had like a nice fire, and we just had like a really good night. And it was nice, because we actually got to see some fireworks in someone else's, like in their backyard that someone else was doing. I don't know if it was from like, like a town or someone else, but it was, they were really cool. And we just had a really chill, fun night. Um, and they had doggos. It was really good. So um, honestly, it worked out because sometimes going to those kind of things are just way too overwhelming for me. Ever since I was a kid, I've always hated like crowds, loud noises. When I was a kid, my mom, when we'd go to like parades with our family or fireworks, I would like cover my ears. I've always just hated like loud noises, but I've gotten better with it with age, obviously, but um, I'm always okay with like turning down a crowded event, <laughs> but it was nice though. I'm glad we got to like do, you know, something fun with our friends. So uh, that's how the night went. I can't wait to go shower because I smell like smoke from the fire, but yeah, I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 